enjoy. What are you up to, John? What are we up to? What are you up to? Well, I'm going back to my childhood. Aye. Aye. Bit of spray painting. Spray, bit of spray painting. Bit of graffiti. No, it's no graffiti. Or what was it? Street, art. street art. Street art, but now it's street modern art. art. Aye. So that's what you're up to today. So what we're doing, we decided to recycle the old bumper. Uh, recycle is the word. Aye. Off the old Defender. Off the, used to be on the back of that Defender there. So today, John has been de-rusting and cleaning up some anti-rust uh, uh, paint on there. De-rusting and shaking. De-rusting and shaking, and he's going to try and spray paint me now. Uh, and now he's just etch priming it. And what we're going to do with this, we are, once it's all etch primed, uh, we're going to, uh, when U Paul, the guy from U Paul, Simon from U Paul comes down, we're going to do this in the U Paul paint as well. Uh, we're also going to restore the two rear bumpers for the Discovery, they need a bit of rusting, and the front bumper for the Defender, which isn't too bad either. What Duncan's doing now, uh, Duncan's working over there, he's uh, setting up for, hold on, leave that there a minute mate, put the other, here where it is, we're setting it up for what we're going to do in the back of this green Defender here. Uh, as you can see, we've got two Coleman cookers here. Uh, they're going to be in a sliding drawer, which is going to slide out to almost the back of the door there. Uh, and uh, so they're all going to be boxed in. So we're just measuring up for that now. And we're going to start doing this probably Monday now, I would think. Uh, well, and that's. Day, well, no, he thinks he's having any other day. Just, you notice we just ignored that. Uh, He's doing a good job there though, look at I'm really right. impressed he's spray painting I think his uh, misspent youth has come right. in handy after all. Misspent youth? Misspent youth, aye. Aye, the very hard childhood. Is that what I was with? In, in the killie? Aye, in the killie, aye. In the killie. When my family was that poor, they had to get all my clothes from the army and navy stores, you know. Oh, that's why you joined the army, isn't it? Because you just, you just already had the kit. I'll tell you something, eight years of age, going to school dressed as a Japanese admiral, it wasn't too funny. <laughs> it wasn't too funny. I well, think. at least they, at least they fitted you, the right yeah, height. Oh, well, yeah. Right height for it. What are you saying? Uh, at that time, I, I believe Japanese were quite small, but they're really tall now. Oh, are they? Aye. How do you want that one out? So, I'm not sure what nationality you can... Bob wanted to know, like, you know, like, uh, but there you go. Can I bring your lens closer? Aye, aye, aye. What's aye. that for? <laughs> right, so that's what we're up to with the disco. The new. These seats are just in there to give us some distance. Uh, what's going to go in here is uh, P38 seats. Only going to be two seats in this vehicle. And uh, so beside that, we're going to have a 60 litre, beside the uh, box for the cookers, we're going to have a 60 litre fridge, which will be just next to it here. Uh, we're going to close this back edge back uh, off and have another drawer system above this, the first slide out drawer for the cookers. We're going to have another drawer system above that which will hold all our pots and pans and all that kind of stuff, plates and stuff like that, uh, which we can just slide out and access. And they'll be open, they'll be a front, they'll slide out along here and they'll have a front, front access point to get to them, a, a kind of piano hinge on the front of the drawer and we can access all the kit from there. So that's how that's going to be. Uh, what else is going to be done? Not done, oh we've finished the front of the Defender now, I'll just give you a quick look at that. I, I know it looked as if it was finished just a bit, there was just a few bits and pieces to do. So this has all been done now. Uh, there's, you can see a bit of uh, red lead paint there. Uh, the reason that's red lead now is because we're going to carpet that uh, once we actually fix this stuff properly. It's not actually fixed at the moment because the uh, mechanics have got to do all the wiring yet. Uh, as you can see the hole there is for the seat belt. And, uh, but it's looking pretty good in here now. I'll show you around the other side, you can see it from the other side too. So it's all coming together this one. So lots of work being done, all the little jobs that 
kind of really get forgotten about a lot of the time but these are the ones that uh, take up the time uh, and we've got time here at the centre so I can see we've carpeted all the brackets up so up the top there you can see that bracket there's going to be a box put in there which is going to be the radio system i.e. the CB and uh, music radio uh, that's going to be up there with a little shelf with USB connectors an inverter on the back wall here and things like that and, and then we're off doing other things at the weekend, bushcrafty things this weekend and uh, as you can see Duncan's new shirt uh, uh, we, we were all based in Hamill at one time uh, so he's got one for the bathtub if any of his ever partook and a few beverages there I think I woke up on, under a table on many Saturday morning after spending the night in the Green Lantern and, and what used to happen is you used to get chucked out the Green Lantern and thrown into the bathtub uh, to have a wee sleep so you could start again on the Saturday so Friday night through to Saturday that was usually my resting place another wee hole, uh, watering hole we used to get was the uh, the Hammer and Toenail uh, well, another, another good pub that we used to go into and H&T uh, the H&T, the H&T that's the one uh, we had a few drinks in there. A few bottles well, there well, you know, a few bottles as well. Yeah. Uh, I had more bottles in the bathtub though. Oh, that's because uh, you were looking in the mirror. What do you mean with that? In the bathtub. What are you saying? I do like your hammer and toenail shirt. I'm getting a Green Lantern one, mate. Oh, you would be, wouldn't you? Because I was a partaker of beverages in the. A partaker? A partaker of you beverages was a in the Green Partaker. Not a urine partaker. I'm from Partick, you know. Are you really? Aye, so I was a partaker. Aye. So, I'm not too sure about that. There you go. Ham Antonio Hamel and the Bathtub Hamel. Some of our new line of t shirts we're doing. Uh, so, if you want to get one of them, you'll need to go on our website and find them. Aye. So, if you've drunk in any of these establishments, these are the shirts for you. So, there you go. That's our wee advert for the day. John, what are you up to? Well, I'm trying to prime this thing here, and I've run out of pain. You've left me in pain. Well, Aye, right, there is mere paint, there's another tin there. Is there? Better get that wee shake then, aye. Shake it right and roll. Aye. So, anyway, so what, what are we doing then? Eh? So, so what's been... Oh, I don't overplay your part. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't overplay it. Aye, don't overplay your part. I don't like your attitude. You don't like my attitude? How no? Hey, <sighs> oh, so jack shit, is it? Aye. You're not allowed to say that, bro. Jack talking shit. Now you're not allowed to say that. No, it's I'm a Jack German. Victor. It's a Jack shit, as in right. German shit. It's no swear word. So anyway, so what have you been up to? So today I, has I'm all been about right. trying to restore some bumpers. So we got the the rear uh, disco bumper here. Yeah, it's really you can see, it's been a lot of rust taken off of this thing. But John's just got to take his room and show us the other bumper. Right. We were doing another. Uh, Disco bumper, uh, but get it done because we get rained off. Ah, it's gonna get rained off in a minute, isn't it? Rained off. So, John will just show us that other bumper here. Right. So, we started taking this one apart. So there, there's a defender bumper. We've already de-rusted that, and uh, we've painted that up. We've primed it's all right. that inside and out. Show us the inside of it, John. No, it's not that heavy, is it? Really? It's not really, is it? So inside and out. I've just painted that. So no wet. <laughs> Right, anyway, so so we de-rusted this and primed it already for uh, when we get the guy down from you, Paul, that the Raptor paint's going to go well, in that. It's coming quick. We'll either, uh, we'll either brush it on the bumpers or we'll roll it on. So that's the Defender bumper there that's that the we've been doing. We also started to take this... See all them runs there? Aye, aye. I'm not too happy about that. You're not too happy about that? Yeah. We also, start to, <laughs> we also started to look at this uh, disco bumper as well. Uh, but this one is beyond repair, I think. Shows yeah. the holes in it and that, John, and the rust patch. As you, see, as you can see, as you can see. You to show you the, the full bits, never mind right. the holes. So we were, we were going to attempt to kind of restore this one as well, but <laughs> it's pretty bad, this one. It's bad. What? As you can see. See, like, there's a hole there. in the back, yeah. There's a hole there. So I and think this is a new there. bumper. And you can see at the end part here, where the end, the corner parts go. Right. Oh, it's right. pretty rusty to it, this one. So that one's scrap, I'm afraid. Scrap? So, and here is the, uh, you can just see down there, that's the front, uh, sorry, the rear Defender bumper. So that one's all primed and ready to go. So we've done three bumpers, uh, we've just got to finish this last disco one off. Uh, and we've been away, well I was away yesterday, uh, another thing, and I come back and to be honest, John hadn't done much. So that's the front Defender bumper. What do you mean i never done much? Well, you know, that's what I mean, you hadn't done that much. This didn't appear on its own, did it? What, a bag? 
a bag. Aye, well, you've done a lot of good job with that bag. Well, at least I didn't have to go back for something. So, that's the job of day. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter at VIA Charity.